After more than 30 years on the sporting calendar, the Jemison Liffey Descent, which starts in the Kildare village of Straffan, is recognised as one of the greatest marathon canoe races in the world. It has a cast of major international paddlers, as well as recreational competitors who come back every year to be buffeted by the swirling waters of the Liffey. This is a chance uh, for some of the international paddlers less familiar with the course to study the first of those weirs at uh, Straffan, where many come to grief each year. Once on the river itself, the paddler faces a, a tough paddle upriver against the floodwater just to get to the start line. That'll give you an idea of the variety of different types of boats being paddled by these 1,200 competitors. And uh, this is the course after the start at Stratford. It's through the jungle, negotiating 10 weirs, two sets of rapids and a portage at the dam at Leakslip. Before going on to the finish at Trinity Rowing Club and War Memorial Park. The imposing Kildare Hotel and Country Club, which overlooks the start line. Starts broken up into different categories. There are 17 classes in all in the Liffey Descent. And these are the K2 paddlers approaching their start. Tim Brabants and uh, James Block from England will be amongst the favourites. Looks like they're going to get off to a flyer, although they narrowly avoid a pile up there. After a thousand metres of the race, the K2s approaching Straffan Weir. And that's uh, Brabants and Block in first place. Behind them are Michael Mason and uh, Jimmy Butler, another English crew. And uh, 262 behind them in the blue boat, Greg Slater and Simon Dark. And in fourth place, as they negotiate Straffan Weir, are the Tordoffs, number one who dominated the K2 class in this race for the last number of years. Gary and John Meyer of Ireland in sixth place, sandwiched between two South African crews. That's uh, Malherb and van der Westhuizen. And uh, they take a dip at the first weir. 176, Shane Devlin and Brendan O'Brien from the Wildwater Kayak Club. 273, Matthew and Paul Enoch from Nottingham. And 229, Neil and Howard Blackman, also from England, uh, taking an early swim there. Uh, but uh, divers and other volunteers, uh, paddlers also on hand to rescue at the first and at all of the weirs. Number 20, Colin Gray and Richard Moore from King's Hospital in Dublin. 161, Jason Bridey and uh, Vincent Walsh taking a swim. 173, the senior K2 of John Keogh and John Mollahan emerging from that sandwich. And that's Jerry Rogers and Peter Harris, 115. A familiar sight at Straffan Mayhem under the bridge. The K1 class gets underway. Fergus Cooper and Malcolm Banks, the two most fancied Irish paddlers in this class. They've been uh, competing very successfully in the course of other marathon races over the year so far. Meanwhile, ahead of them, one kilometre ahead of them at uh, Straffan, the K2s continue on their way. 134, Junior K2, John Nolan and Sean Lonergan. And uh, an unusual sight there, a K2 becomes a K1. 251, Tim Harris and Mike Sutcliffe in the spray of uh, Straffan and back to the K1 class. Fergus Cooper taking the short and hazardous line, Dan Straffan, and he takes the lead in the K1 class. 505 taking the longer line, Kevin Pierce, winner of the Upper Liffey race a few weeks ago. 747, Damian Cooper competed in the K2 last year with uh, James Butler, and still they come, and still they go. 468, veteran K1, Paul Moroni there. 663, Rob King of Hereford, taking an early and a discouraging bath at the first weir. Some of the leftovers at Straffan as the K1s begin to tackle the next stretch of the river, the tight and the winding area, about three miles in length, known as the jungle. Up ahead, the K2 race develops. Rabbins and Block lead from Michael Mason and Jimmy Butler with Greg Slater and Simon Dark in third place. About 50 metres back, the Tordops and the Myers are neck and neck with Graham Byrne and Mark Perrow from South Africa. And uh, the Irish brothers uh, just taking a lead on the inside, on the left bank of the Liffey. Long, long way to go. Still 14 or so miles to go for those K2s. Mick O'Mara leads as the Whitewater class approaches Straffan and uh, he takes his much more stable boat down the fish tanks pursued by René Clermont of France, Sean McGuigan from South Africa.
And uh, behind Sean McGuigan is Fraser Gormel of Scotland, just approaching the top of the weir. Shane Kelly from England is next. Martin McCarthy from the Wild Water Canoe Club next. And that lineup emphasizes the international nature of this field, not to mention the diversity of the canoe classes.